everyone. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm meteorologist Alyssa Andrews alongside meteorologist Terry Ellison, also our executive weather producer. And Terry, a big winter storm, big storm coming up. Here we go. Just in time. The timing could not be. I, so actually, I was saying this yesterday. If, if it's going to be a washout on a holiday, is Thanksgiving like the best holiday? It for actually it? might be the best holiday yeah. for it if it has to happen on a holiday. I mean, you don't want it on like the 4th of July or Memorial Day right. or Halloween. So, I mean, Thanksgiving is sort of. Everyone's inside, yeah, yeah. gathered around anyways. Right, I mean, obviously it's not good for morning football games, and we'll get into that forecast, but, you know, for the mo for the most part, Thanksgiving's about family and being indoors and being cozy. And right, and and luckily it's holding off until the actual holiday because the right. beforehand yeah. travel, is it's helping us out that it's coming a day later. No doubt. So anyways, we are under next weather alert. Um, we're talking about basically an all day washout, a soaking rain for the entire day on Thanksgiving. Um, and you were just on air, on air talking about the timeline. It looks about the same as yesterday, I guess. Uh, would you say starting probably between 7 a.m., 10 a.m., somewhere in the Right, morning? yeah, I get started pretty early. So, um, you know, you're gonna be waking up cooking that Thanksgiving lunch, that Thanksgiving meal, and it's already gonna be raining outside. So the coziness can, can start early in the day. <laughs> uh, there, so it doesn't look like much right now, but that little strip of uh, rain and there's a little bit of snow with it that extends from Denver to St. Louis is the storm. Mm -hmm. um, so today is sort of when it digs down into like northern Texas and then starts to gather strength from here on out basically. Right and this is what we've been tracking all week. You know is last week we flagged it on the seven day forecast saying hey we think that there's going to be a coastal storm that will impact Thanksgiving and here we sure are. Sure enough out. yeah. Um, so there are some winter storm watches which um, is you know would normally be fairly alarming but as you can see they're all mostly north and west of our viewing area um, into southern and southwest New Hampshire, Vermont, and parts of Maine. Um, and this means different things in different places. So, um, for instance, if you're like in the, if you're in elevation and over a thousand feet, you could get several inches of snow up this way. If you're more um, lower in elevation, then it's probably just sort of a mix of maybe wet snow and rain and a lighter accumulation. All right. So for most of us, this is going to be just a heavy rain washout event is what we're expecting. But again, snow is certainly going to be part of the system for yeah. areas farther north. So here we are tomorrow morning around dawn. Um, as you can see, it's basically green across Easter Mass inside of 495. Could be a little bit of a mix, um, that little pink up in northern Essex County, but certainly out in northern Worcester County. So there could be some wet flakes mixing in here and there, especially north of the pike early on. But it, for the most part, tomorrow morning, it's rain showers, it's drizzle, and then it starts to pick up, um, you know, during the football games. And oh, after. man, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Jacob said this earlier, but it's going to be basically probably some parents, the hardcore football fans uh, outside yeah. for those games, because it's it's already going to be cold. We knew that, but, you know, to have the cold rain along with it, just very yeah. pesky, hard to be outside watching football. I got to admit, I'd love to go back to my, uh, I'm, I grew up locally, I'd love to go back. I was going to go back with my sons to the high school game, mm. uh, but we've talk last night and it's like yeah I don't think that's so. tough that's <laughs> tough with I mean look this is a total washout yeah. from top to bottom left to right we're talking some form of precipitation on radar for the majority of the holiday yeah heaviest really probably midday through afternoon and early evening and then by uh, probably after eight o'clock or so at night it just sort of tapers off to some lighter showers maybe a few flurries actually as this thing is ending uh, later tomorrow night but mm -hmm. again not expecting any significant accumulation locally it'd be in the higher elevations um, this <laughs> Yeah, well, and most people are going to be tucked away for, for the majority of this because it'll be, you know, happening while we're inside eating and hanging out. But, you know, for those who have to travel or maybe switching yeah. different houses or families, um, just you will, do want to certainly take it easy on the roads tomorrow because uh, just thinking about what crews are going to be out, maybe there's lesser mm -hmm. uh, help on the roads tomorrow, given that it's a holiday. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, we don't expect any icing. Like, so if those were out this morning early on um, from 5 to, say, 7 or 8 a.m., there was a lot of black ice around that the moisture that came through yesterday sort of lingered overnight, didn't dry up. And then when the temperatures went below freezing, we had a lot of patchy ice. So if you're out this morning and you experienced some of that, we do not expect that tomorrow morning or at any, any time during the day tomorrow. Temperatures, as you can see here, will be about, will be mid to upper 30s and then climbing into the 40s. So no iciness when, if you're traveling to grandma's house, uh, but certainly some ponding on the roadways oh, yeah. and you know stuff, stuff like that, slow travel. Um, here's a, just another look at the timeline, you know, it's light in the morning, 
picks up late morning in the afternoon and then tapers off in the evening. So. Which is, I mean, it's probably the best case scenario given that it's going to be a washout for Thanksgiving, that the heaviest rain is going to be falling right around lunchtime. While we're eating and yep. watching football. Yeah, you're very optimistic. Very, you're, right? Yes, you kind of, I mean, well. I mean, yeah. This is, you know, it's after the drought, the drought that we've been in for so long, if. Like you said, if for what holiday it's going to be, Thanksgiving, most of us are going to be inside. Right, might as well. Um, so other than the Northeast and down the East Coast, the rest of the country, if you're traveling, um, you know, far away tomorrow, the rest of the country looks fine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, basically this storm started up in California late uh, three or four days ago and it's traveled across the country and in its wake it's sort of chilly, windy in places, but there's really nothing going on tomorrow outside of our area. So um, look at these highs for tomorrow. So north of the pike, um, where some of that mixing is going on, especially we're stuck in the 30s and it's a little bit milder down towards the Cape uh, around 50, but still with some heavy rain. Mm -hmm. And then a hard line there too where temperatures drop and we have that better chance to see snow up that direction. So a good inch of rain potentially in another, Boston. Another inch, yeah, yeah, which again, it's unfortunate it's coming on Thanksgiving, but um, we still need it even though it's been wet the last week or so and we put a dent in the drought, um, another inch will, will certainly not hurt. Um, and interestingly enough, so the drought monitor usually gets updated and comes out on Thursday mornings. Mm -hmm. Today, because of Thanksgiving, it came out this morning on a Wednesday, and this is the exact same map. They didn't change it at all from last week, which I guess I'm a little surprised by, given that a lot of the area had three, four inches of water mm -hmm. uh, in the last week. But I think they probably want to see a more consistent or persistent pattern evolving. Right. And once you, you know, we got that break in the pattern, and wow, it has just been ever since then, we haven't just gotten a few sprinkles. No. It's been total. This is how do we, it's how we roll in New yeah. England, yeah, from one extreme to the next. So my guess is that after the rain that comes on Thursday or tomorrow, and we get an update next week, maybe we'll see an improvement in some of that extreme area of drought being lifted. But, you know, we'll see. We're still several inches below for the fall. Well, now that the now that we have a little bit of water in the ground now from the first big rain, this will kind of help to soak in a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so there's your snow map for tomorrow. I would say, um, you know, north of Worcester and those northern Worcester hills, for the most part, probably very little accumulation. That one to three inch mark, that you see near Gardner, uh, Ashburnham, Ashby, that whole area. It's really, you gotta be a thousand feet up or so or higher, and most of those areas are below that. So um, I think for the most part, it's some wet snow mixing in with the rain, maybe a little bit of slushy stuff on the roads here and there. And again, this is only for northernmost Worcester County. Other than that, I think it's just some wet flakes mixing in. And you can see like the, the darker blues up in the greens, the whites, the Monadnock region, you know, that's where they could get three to six inches. So it's just not a bad thing for some of the mountains. Yeah, sure. and luckily, you know, with the timing of this system, um, as it moves out and people are traveling back to wherever they need to be, it, it really, we're kind of sneaking the storm in, mm -hmm. maybe in the best window it really could. Agreed, yeah, and, and we don't expect like a flash freeze or anything tomorrow night either. It's not like the rain's gonna stop and temperatures are gonna plunge below freezing right away. So, um, so yeah, driving home tomorrow evening, again, if you're driving home earlier, it'll probably still be very wet mm -hmm. later on, should be tapering off. Um, but if you're in any of these areas, if you're heading out to say the Berkshires right. uh, to, to grandma's house, then it will be a little bit more messy. Could be several inches of snow. It, it's in some of those areas. So um, interesting, I just wanted to show this graphic. So this is basically how the atmosphere is gonna look tomorrow if you sliced it up sort of vertically, almost like a cake. And you see Boston on the left, which is at sea level. And I just, and was, Worcester is about a thousand feet up. So like the Worcester airport's a thousand feet up and a lot of those Worcester hills are about that. So you can see that it's really snowing for the entire area. It's gonna be snowing from the clouds on down. And then the only sort of slice of milder air will be just at the surface below say a thousand feet or so. So that's why if you live in Worcester Hills or if you live in the Greens and White Mountains, you're seeing snow. And if you're in lower elevations, it's rain. Mm, yeah, lucky lucky for us that so we get that warmer layer that the snow can fall through and melt off a little bit before it makes mm. its way to our surface here. So for most people um, that we forecast for, gonna be a rain event. Yeah, and I think this is, um, you know, this is a classic early sort of winter season mm -hmm. storm. This is typically how it looks and mostly because our winds will be out of the east tomorrow off the ocean. And of course the ocean is still fairly mild this time of year, it hasn't had time to really cool off. So any sort of storm that's, you know, got some energy to it and some good, a good east or northeast wind this time of year tends to be rain um, early on and like a classic November look, you know, it's colder naturally higher in the atmosphere and warmer at the lower levels because of that onshore milder ocean breeze. So that's kind of the deal there. Um, 
And again, as we go on in the season and the ocean cools, you know, that's when we get the better chance for nor'easters and snow, you know, down in southern New England. But there's your look. Ooh. Right, I know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough, it's tough. How often, um, just to store, uh, I'm asking you to kind of pull from, from nothing here, but in the past, forecasting for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. how have Thanksgiving usually turned out? So funny, I almost made a graphic today and I didn't have time, but um, I looked at the last 10 years, what has gone down on Thanksgiving, and we haven't had a rainy Thanksgiving since, I wanna say it was 2020, I wish I had brought the stats with me, but it's been three or four years since it's mm -hmm. rained on Thanksgiving. It's generally in like the upper 40s, low 50s, which is average this time of year, and that's the way it's been the last several years. Um, we did have a couple, day, a couple rainy Thanksgivings in like 2019, 2020. Um, but overall, this is definitely on the, uh, the, the, the worst side of things. Yeah, so typically yeah. it's not that chilly, it, and obviously we typically don't get an inch of rain on Thanksgiving. Right, I mean, not only is it gonna rain, I mean, it's gonna rain very heavily. Yeah, significant. So. Um, and so again, we talked about those football games. We sort of broke it up by area, and there's really not much difference area to area other than, a, Warmer temperatures the further south you go, so you know if you're a few degrees. So few just degrees. gosh, you want the raincoats to, to help, especially to keep keep dry as much as possible. Yeah, and so if you're going to a game on the south shore of the Cape, at least temperatures will be in the 40s as opposed to the 30s up north and west of Boston. That helps. It helps, especially it when it's windy. Yeah, and if your game now, I think I think most of the games start at 9 or 10 a.m. But if you do have a game starting as early as like say 8 you got a decent shot at maybe it'll just be cloudy or some lighter sprinkles as opposed to by 10, 11, 12, it's gonna be, it should be a steady mm -hmm. rain. Um, so bundle up, bring the poncho, you know. Um, Hand warmers. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of ugly. Um, one less. Oh, so this was, I thought, interesting. We were talking about has that ever, how bad has it been on mm. Thanksgiving, right? I don't think we're gonna get 2.6 inches of rain, but that was our Ooh. wettest Thanksgiving on record um, back in 1971. Um, but this just to go, it goes to show that, that, you know, late November, we can be quite warm, we can be yeah. frigid, it can be snowing, it can be raining, you get, you know, all the possibilities there. 71 degrees, the way the fall season was going earlier. I, that would I not mean, have been surprising, I, right? I wouldn't have been shocked by that. Me either. Um, and the Pats play at home on Sunday against the Colts. Um, the forecast basically post storm is cold. Like that's gonna be the story going into the weekend and next week. Um, you'll be on this weekend, and I, th I think that that's, there's really no big storms after this uh, thing passes by, but there's, there's periods of wind, and it's basically 30s and low 40s for the foreseeable future. Oh my goodness, high temperatures are Here going in the go. 30s into next week. That Hope is going to be, whew. Hope you enjoyed those yeah. warm September, <laughs> right. October days. Paying um, for them now. Yeah, ta that is now past, and this is actually, so this is a six to 10 day forecast put out by the, the National Weather Service. And it's been a while since we saw those kind of deep blues and purples over the east. It's been reversed for a while. We've had, we've had the warm times for the last three months or so. Just goes to show you how sort of dramatically um, below average we're going to be for the next sort of week or two. Um, not fun stuff. I'm not ready for it. And I feel like if it needs to be this cold, it, it might as well snow. But I know I'm, I might be in the minority. <laughs> no, I think that. a lot of people say that. Yeah, okay. A lot of folks here locally would say, listen, if it's gonna be cold, and just, you Give know. Give me the snow. Might as well, I right. mean, obviously, some folks that it, it can be sort of disrupting if you get a lot of snow, but sure, sure. But sure if it's gonna, in this, basically the forecast, you can see the temperatures oh, dropping off from Friday These are into highs. the weekend. These are highs. And then as we get further out, the reason why we don't give exact numbers is just because it's this graphic is based more off of sort of a wider climatologist look. But anyways, the forecast is likely to be in the 30s most of next week, and those are high temperatures. Oh my gosh, which means the, the mornings, early mornings, sending the kids out to the bus stop, you're heading to work, yeah. it is going to be downright cold a lot freezing. Of, a lot of scraping on the windshields, a um, lot of really cold uh, bundle up kind of days. And this was your uh, seven day forecast, you just showed it you just showed at noon and you can see the cold air coming in there. Oh boy, 23 degrees, how about that for a morning low temperature? Yeah, and, and, and a lot of the burbs, I think a lot of the burbs next week, like you know, the, some of the colder spots could even be in the teens uh, in, in the morning. And again, it is December. December starts on Monday, is that right? Thursday, Friday, Sunday? Mm. Sometime in there, December's coming. <laughs> Yeah. I, yeah. Um, but anyways, next week is the first week of December. So while we average mid to upper 40s, obviously we'll be below that, but not unusual to be. Well, and gosh, yeah. meteorological winter's starting now, so. Yeah, here we go. Um, and meteorological fall will certainly go down. It's funny, we were, we were racing towards the record for driest meteorological fall ever. And all of a sudden in the last like two weeks of meteorological fall, 
all the rains all have come rain. and forget about the records. We were about to, we were heading towards the driest season on yeah, record too. Yeah. So, I mean, this late rain. Yeah, it's extremes. Just changed it Extremes. All. We go from like drought to now all of a sudden it's, you know, pouring when it rains, it pours. So, yep. Um, Interested to see that next drought monitor report coming up next Thursday. Absolutely, yeah. So anyways, we wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, safe travels. Uh, Alyssa's going to be here throughout the weekend and uh, the next couple of days to keep you updated. Definitely stay tuned tonight and tomorrow morning just in case there are any changes in that rain or snow forecast. Right That's right. Now. Yep. Yeah. After that, we'll just be forecasting some really cold air, but we hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.